The aviation industry has been one of the fastest growing industries in the world for the past 20 to 30 years. This trend was suddenly interrupted by the COVID pandemic, which almost stopped uh, air transport activity all over the world. Until recently, congestion was the major concern in airports. Right now, uh, congestion is no longer a concern for the airports because they are operating under very low utilization rates. This does not mean, however, that aviation research has stopped. In fact, we are going through a very critical moment that is going to reshape the way that airports plan their operations. My research team works mostly on the development of research on airfield and airspace demand management. This field of research aims to investigate how to balance demand and supply in order to operate better flights and more efficiently. To give you an example, airport schedules have been built over many, many years through a system of historical precedence called airport slot location. According to this system, airlines need to request slots to an airline in order to operate their flight at specific times of the day. However, once an airline receives one of these slots, this airline can keep that slot forever provided that operates those flights at acceptable levels of delays and without match cancellations. The advantage of this system is that it gives some stability to the airports and the airlines that in the long term are not treated every year by significant changes. On the other hand, this system has also been highly criticized because in the long term, airport slots become unavailable and airports does not have the flexibility to accommodate new flights and new market opportunities. In my research, we develop tools that combine machine learning and optimization models in order to support airports understanding airport demand patterns and passenger choices and then help them designing better schedules that will take into account considerations related to airport connectivity, competition between different airports and airport specific constraints such as airfield capacity or uh, environmental impacts. For instance, if a flight needs to be rescheduled, airports tend to apply a more manual approach to shift the flights around. Take for instance the Kangaroo route, which is a very popular route that connects passengers from London to Sydney in Singapore. If you need to displace one of these flights, for instance from Singapore to Sydney, then the passengers that come from London might, might have seen their connections disrupted. What we propose instead is a tool that leverages machine learning to optimize this process. Right now, the future of aviation is very uncertain and nobody exactly knows what is going to happen in the next few years. What is clear to us is that sooner or later, we will fly again. And those airports or aviation agents that will be more prepared for the recovery will likely dominate the skies for the next few years. Therefore, having tools that allow us to quickly simulate different scenarios of operations uh, will be critical given the uncertainties that we are going through. The Aviation Studies Institute is working on the development of these tools in collaboration with our industrial partners. We believe that these tools can help airports understanding better their capabilities and support them designing better schedules that will eventually lead to fewer delays in the airports uh, better passenger connectivity and more sustainable operations.